guys. Hi, huh, y'all. I got our beer video today, but before we get into the beer, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, and you want to see more, hit that bell for notifications of new videos. Let's get into it, man. Today, I got Breakside Brewing's Salted Caramel Stout brewed with salt and caramel, and it's a collaboration brew with Salt and Straw. Salt and Straw is a ice cream parlor, ice cream company. I'm not even sure what to call them, but they make like craft or handmade ice cream. They originate out of Portland, just like Breakside, man. They make amazing ice cream, but we got collaboration beer between the two today, man. And it's a 6.7% ABV stout. If I didn't mention that, it's on here somewhere. 6.7 right there. This was canned on 111620, so it's a little older, but it's, it's a stout. So I think it's okay. Today is the 28th of January, 2021. Let's get this into a glass, man. I'm pretty excited. I've had this before. Oh, yeah, and this is like a pick my beer and I'll review a type deal. My mom actually picked up a four pack of these and was like, hey, you ever had this before? Take a can, even though I said, yeah, but I was like, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll take a beer, especially for my mom. Um, <laughs> but I have had this before and I didn't know that they started canning this in 16 ounce cans, man. Usually when I see them, it's usually in like a 22 ounce bomber. So this is pretty cool. And I might be talking a little fast because my camera's actually dying. Just give me the battery, no low battery notification here. Pour with about just shy of two fingers of head, man. Very frothy, light mocha head. Looks pretty damn good. Slight creaminess to it. it looks like it's going to stick around for a little while. The beer putting away from the light. It is a pitch black beer, man. Putting it to the light. Same thing. It's it's a very dark beer. Like you can't see through the beer at all. Um, let's get the aroma. Oh man, this smells even better than what I remembered. You just get a ton, a ton of chocolate. Milk chocolate to be uh, specific. Nice roasted malts, roasted coffee aroma. Obviously, I'm not getting the salt, although I say obviously because I, I made, I, for some reason it hit me that you can't smell salt. Like when you smell Goza, to me, you can smell saltiness in a Goza. Uh, for some reason, I, it just slipped my mind that you can absolutely smell saltiness. I was going to say, obviously I can't smell the salt, but you totally can and goes this. Um, this is not as salty or salted, I, I believe, as a goza. So I cannot smell the salt in here, but I believe them that it was added or an ingredient in the beer. <clears throat> Maybe just a touch of like brown sugar as well. Not, not too much. Brown sugar slight like I don't know woodiness to it I know it's not barrel age or anything but I get a little bit of this oaky wood maybe not oaky but just woodiness to it that's what I'm getting man let's get into it cheers hopefully the camera don't die I'm drinking styles that are not barrel age I know spoiled I always have to like get in the mindset of this is not going to be some super freaking decadent, super thick, 13% ABV, aging 17 barrels. I have to just like step back and go, okay, this is, you know, just a stout, not barrel aged, not, not just a stout, but you know, not a barrel aged stout. It's not 13%. You got to judge it accordingly. You got you to go in with that mindset. So just as I'm speaking, I, after that first sip, man, it just, it's, it's, it finished super nicely. It's still going, you get that roasted, like malt, roasted coffee bean flavor, kind of just, it keeps going. It's like, I just took a sip of just straight coffee, but not as intense. Mouthfeel, it's thin, I'm just put it out there. It's a thin mouthfeel, 6.7% ABV, I mean, I didn't, Expect it to be super thick or anything, but it is a very thin mouthfeel, but the flavors are great, man uh, Sometimes I go into stouts and stouts that are unknown to me I, I, I've had this before and it's been a while but I've had it before but when I go into unknown stouts my most like the thing I fear the most is Too much dark chocolate too much cacao flavor because then that just gets it just overwhelms everything else man And all you taste is this bitter dark chocolate flavor and that ain't for me. Some people may, may like that, but that ain't for me. I like to taste other things too, and I'm getting that in here, man. I'm getting some sweet brown sugar, some sweet vanilla kind of going in hand with that. More brown sugar than vanilla. A slight roasty 
malt and roasted coffee notes towards the back end. Uh, milk chocolate for sure. Yeah, and that roasted malt, roasted coffee, it's in the front as well. Fades out to that nice brown sugar, vanilla, slight woody taste, and then fades back out to that coffee. Very nice, very balanced beer. I'm getting maybe just a touch, like, I, it's probably because I know there's salt in this beer, because it says it on the can, which is probably why I'm gonna say that I kinda taste the salt. Also, I just realized that brown sugar and that vanilla and that woodiness, it comes together to give you, I just literally pulled apart that caramel flavor into three different ingredients um, with, you know, flavor profiles that could persuade you that it is caramel. I, I just, I don't even, I didn't even realize I did that. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm gonna stick with the flavors I said, but I know that they use caramel and you're supposed to taste caramel, but I'm tasting caramel as those three different ingredients, man. And I don't know what I was so fascinating, so cool to me for some reason, but like, I, I it's like, I blew my own mind just now. I swear, I gotta go back and look. Um, yeah, I just, like the caramel, I know they used it. They, it's in the beer, because it's on the can, they said they used it, but like, I, I taste the caramel as those three different flavors. I, I wouldn't drink this beer and go, oh yeah, I totally taste the caramel. I would not be like, no, I taste the brown sugar, the vanilla, the oaky woodiness. And to me, like that's what I taste. And I mean, I kind of just dissected the flavor a little bit. I don't know why that was so cool to me. But anyways, man, that's Breakside um, Salted Caramel Stout. I think that's called, yeah, salt, Salted Caramel Stout, brewed in collaboration with Salt and Straw out of Portland, Oregon. If you guys like the video, thumbs up. Comments, questions, leave below. And as always, dream big dreams and leave all things possible. <laughs> just, just, cheers, man. I'm just still so like mind blown.